around the world, it's so easy to feel overwhelmed by the magnitude of this problem. We could spend the whole evening listing and discuss, discussing the manifestations of violence against women, physical, sexual, in the context of war, trafficking, and on and on and on. It would, it all, it would all be true. But there's another truth that I think it's really important that we also hang on to. And that is, in a sense, we're not here tonight because of this problem of violence against women. I actually believe we're here together because we collectively are in the process of ending this problem of men's violence against women. And so I think that our starting point, in a sense, isn't just the problem, but the fact that around the world there are movements led by women to bring this problem to an end. Now, the, the problem from, the, from, from my point of view, one problem from my point of view, has been that women have had to stand alone. And in a sense, we've left out a key word. You know, often we'll, re, we'll use the shorthand, violence against women. And in doing that, we're leaving out the key adjective, which is who's committing that violence. And of course, it's being committed by men. It's men's violence against women. It's not all men. In fact, it's not most men in most countries. It is a significant minority of men. But if we leave out that word, then we continue to define it only as a women's issue. It gets men off the hook. Not just the men who commit the violence, but those millions and millions and millions of others who have stood in silence. Now, that, that would be a problem for any group, for any half of the population to stand in silence. But the problem is when the half, that half it has disproportionate social power. When the half who has been silent controls our parliaments, makes the laws, enforces the laws, or the judges and the police, control our religious institutions, control our media, and so forth. If that half has been silent, then we are allowing the violence to continue. Women have stood alone for too long. Women in many countries have risked their lives to work to end violence against women. And finally, in countries around the world, we see men ending their silence.